Projects program is a neurofeedback program. And I've known about neurofeedback for 20 years. And I did it with my own kids 20 years ago. Neurologics is a tool that we brought into the office, a non-medicinal approach to treating certain conditions by the use of brain mapping and neurofeedback. Pediatric Therapy Solutions offers Neurologics, um, which uh, through use of a brain map, uh, we're able to do, take an evaluation of the child's brain, assess where they're at in regards to their cognitive um, and emotional well-being, um, formulate a plan for them through use of neurofeedback sessions. Neurologics is a way to kind of be able to see the brain and how it regulates itself, the speed at which it's running, processing, um, and what I love about it is when we're able to do brain maps and we can actually measure different areas of the brain and maybe inconsistencies or delays in certain areas or processing speed issues, it correlates really well with my uh, school's uh, psych, uh, psychoeducational evaluations and very often we see delays in certain areas that are related to learning and attention and language that come out on the brain maps too. So to have both um, documentation of standard normed assessments, psychological assessments, and a brain map is, can be very comforting for families because they can see it. We've really found it um, useful for conditions like anxiety, uh, depression, and then learning disorders, uh, ADD, ADHD, and things like that. Uh, so the brain map itself gives very unique information that we just can't get from blood tests or from a history. And so it's really eye-opening for people to understand why their brain works the way they do. And then once you have that information from the brain map, one of the most precise ways to correct it is with neurofeedback. And so neurofeedback trains the brain as an athlete would train a muscle at the gym. With neurologics and with brain mapping and with neurofeedback, it can take these clients that were once stuck and that we would have to maybe refer out to psychiatrists or people that are not wanting to maybe do drugs or these pharmacological, they don't want to, they don't want to go the, the medication route. It could take them so far beyond places and areas in which we can, we can go. The years of counseling can be just shaved off in a matter of sessions. What I love about it is it's changing the brainwave frequencies. And when you change them to the more calming uh, frequencies, then you get healing in certain areas. You'll get anxiety reduced, it works for PTSD, it can work for uh, ADHD, it can work in autism. Um, I haven't used it in anybody with seizures, but I think that it would probably work there because again, that's a frequency problem. Part of the population deal with anxiety and deal with some type of stress disorder, some type of depression. And I just feel like that has a huge effect on, you know, not only the immune system, but the musculoskeletal system. So when I, when I see people dealing, whether it's themselves or they're getting that type of um, secondary effect, helping family members, and it's creating some sort of um, symptoms to them, that's when we notice that, okay, you're taking this, this medication, um, or you're trying this type of therapy, it's either helping or it's not. And if it's not, people are always looking for what can I do to try to fix this problem? I think that's the biggest word that we, the biggest question that we see is what can I do to fix this problem? And, you know, we are going to try to get to as close of a fix as we can. And once again, that helps them with their overall health. And if we can help decrease their stress in their life, then obviously coming in here will be much more beneficial to them. So that's typically what I'm referring for are those, uh, you know, your anxieties and your depressions are, are what we're seeing pretty consistently. Um, of course, if I talk to a parent that has a child that is dealing with ADHD, which a lot of children do, once again, they're looking to me for a non-medicinal approach. And I throw this out there as an idea. Hey, have you thought about this option? Have you thought about neurofeedback? 
Have you had the have you had anything done from a brain mapping standpoint? Do you even know what's going on specifically in that brain? So, you know, sometimes it's secondary. I'm treating the parent and the parent just talks to me about their kid. And, you know, other times I might be treating the, the child and, you know, that's one of the problems that the parent writes down on the uh, on the intake paperwork. And then we say, hey, here's here's something for you to think about. Here's some information. When patients come in and they've had major traumas, strokes, head injuries, uh, in addition to working with the nutrients and some of the IV therapies that can really boost them up quickly, we have a very unique way of evaluating them and we use the brain map report. And this really helps identify the specific areas of the brain that need to be addressed and then it recommends precise treatment with the neurofeedback. And that's the fastest, most optimal way to address these injuries. I'd say 60 to 65 percent of our, of our population of people we see are children, adolescents, and their families. So one of, the, one of the huge motivations of bringing neurologics into our practice is the fact that our clientele are massively suffering from, from this ADHD and, and the things that neurologics deals with like squarely and, and we've seen and what we've talked about so much is that this is something that you guys can help us with and help our clients with. Bringing neurologics into the practice is really helpful because I think it provides uh, clinicians uh, another avenue for assessment um, and uh, it also helps communicate what's going on neurologically with uh, the brain and students and young adults on really what's happening. So as a, as a provider, I like to be able to explain things to families in multiple ways so that they walk out really understanding what's going on with their child or themselves and then what to do about it. So bringing in the neurofeedback component after the brain mapping is also really helpful too because it provides different options for families. And that can, that can be really helpful within the community knowing that we're not just a traditional uh, test and place or test and medication. This is another option. And so it really helps families trust us. Well, we brought it in based on research over time, identifying a program over time of how can we treat specific conditions that we can't necessarily uh, touch from a chiropractic standpoint. We can only help from a chiropractic standpoint, but we can't necessarily treat specific conditions uh, from a from a chiropractic standpoint. Therefore, we need to to bring other programs into our office to try to treat treat specifics of these uh, of these uh, certain conditions that, that neurologics is specific to. To have that option in house was even better because you know sometimes patients go I I, I just don't go because I have to drive all over town for whatever. But to have this in one location and to have something that I believe in and that I know works on site and for the convenience of the patient um, was a no-brainer for me. I was speaking to a colleague of mine that brought in neurologics to her practice and she was having uh, great success um, in her arena and had mentioned that it had been shown to um, improve pediatric uh, health and I thought that this could be a really great addition to pediatric therapy solutions in the population that we serve. The, the experience that I've had with the treatment all the patients have been satisfied and happy with what results have been um, specific to their condition. Um, I feel like it, it gives people that option to not have to um, take medication for these, for these conditions for the rest of their life. So I feel like on that note, when people start seeing um, some improvement, any improvement, and they can cut back on, on other things that they don't necessarily have to take the rest of their life, I, I feel like they've been very happy about that.
And so far, we've had really good experience with it, and we've had one child um, with attention deficit who did get off medication as a result of the program. And to me, that's a big win. So I would say our largest success rate has been with our um, above the age, I would say eight years of age, neurotypical um, child coming to us with either um, executive dysfunction, uh, sensory integration, uh, attention deficit, and um, or any type of uh, learning disabilities. Uh, this has really helped shape their behavior, uh, shape their attention, organize their thought processes, uh, increase their communication. We've also seen um, a large uh, increase in language following uh, neurofeedback. With behavior problems, focusing problems, any of the mm, altered mentation functions, I mean autism, ADHD, depression, anxiety, you know, they're all to me on one spectrum, just different places. And if um, you know, and if they're interested, I mean, because we give it to them as an option, I go, you should really look into this. And the fact that we've had one child get off medication as a result is enough for me to say, you know, this is worth it. So far, the feedback has been overly positive. Uh, one of the biggest advancements that we see with neurologics is a large uh, language acquisition. Um, so we find that their language field really increases the vocabulary, uh, conversational skills, uh, reciprocity with another person really increases. Um, not only that, but uh, attention to task, uh, task completion, um, and task tolerance, which I think are um, really huge markers that our kids with any form of attention deficit executive dysfunction uh, are really trying to achieve uh, in order to be successful at school. So we, um, in the summers, two summers, we did intensive 30 sessions where the children came uh, to us three, four days a week, which was really nice because they're on summer break, they can come, they can do the intervention here. Um, and uh, the first year that we did it, I really wanted to see what the parents thought after the 30 session intensive. And there was, um, five students that that summer and I asked the parents was this worth it how was it coming every day did you feel like it really made significant change was was it you know worth the cost of that and all of the parents said absolutely they would do it again so that really told me there was a, a big financial investment in it but the children all made significant gains and the families were really happy with what happened. And it was a variety of issues. It was um, uh, autism, attention deficit disorders, anxiety disorders, and all of the students, based on what their parents were reporting and the brain map changes, said that it was really helpful. I think that the, um, the largest benefit of using neurologics is that it's a non-invasive way to help reorganize uh, and retrain your brain, which equals uh, increased attention, uh, uh, more stabilized behavior, increased self-regulation, uh, increased attention, all those things that we're looking for, those higher level brain functions that sometimes are really difficult to achieve in a therapeutic setting. You know, again, the appeal for so many people is you can do this without medication or you can get off medication. Now, for those medication works, that's great. Who am I to mess with what's working? But I have many people who've tried four, five, or six medications without success. And yet, these, these children and these adults are still having functional problems in society. I think that the beauty of neurologics is that it has helped me tap into those higher level cases or there's those more difficult cases a little more intertwined a little more systems uh, that has a variety of systems involved that we aren't able to achieve through traditional therapies and what neurologics does is it takes it to the next level um, it taps into those higher level brain processes um, and really helps uh, rewire, organize, and change that from within so outwardly we can uh, help shape those behaviors and those motoric skills in our one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions. 
The Neurologics program, I would highly recommend to anybody even considering it. Straight up off the top from a business point of view, yes, it can create additional income, which is really terrific. For me, from the bigger point, I mean, the business part is very nice, and yes, I enjoy that. I'm just more interested in helping people and in helping families and in helping change everything, actually. Because a lot of different modalities um, can sometimes reach a plateau. Like an acupuncturist may say, well, I've done all I can do, I, and I go, okay, so add this, because as you change the brainwave frequencies, then your acupuncture will open up more energy meridians and things will work better. Um, chiropractors, yeah, you can adjust the spine all day long. You do great work. Sometimes you just need a little additional. What I have found too in my practice is that many times you, you do things that are additive. So you can do traditional medicine and neurologics and you get a better outcome. Neural feedback uh, through neurologics uh, is a really nice alternative for families. I work a lot with families who do assessments for attention deficit disorders or anxiety disorders and they're really hesitant sometimes to do a traditional medication approach. So this is another option whether uh, the, their children have negative side effects to medication or they really just want a different way of addressing attention and anxiety or autism spectrum behaviors. So neurofeedback is another option and it does provide a way to regulate brain activity which then assists with thinking and behavior and mood uh, in a way that is non-invasive. So this is a really good option for some families. What you want for your children is the best of everything and they're struggling and they're struggling with anxiety or OCD or ADD or ADHD or autism. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not any stone you wouldn't turn over to try and help them. And what I can tell you as a physician and with clinical experience is this works.